Hello, my name is Ilona. In this video, I first want to take a look at the media, just in general, what's going on in the energy of the media. Are things changing? Are the black hats still in control? Are the white hats controlling the media in a way? Just going to see the energy of the media, especially after everything that is going on right now with all the situations in the world. All the articles, really most of the time you cannot trust it, but I really want to see the energy of the media. This is the top card, that is the Four of Swords. Central card is the Knight of Swords. This is in the past, Two of Wands. This is the influence underneath the Moon. And the future, that is the Two of Pentacles. So first thing I notice is that they're fighting back. The media are really trying to keep control. They are working on this fear agenda and really try to mess up things as much as possible. So that's what the media is doing. They really try to hold on to this illusion and they, the things they put out, most of it is nonsense or not true. It's been manufactured, it's been manipulated. So really, the, the normal media just don't trust it and really feel if it resonates with you because that really is your compass through this all. It's standing a bit still. It's almost like there's a standstill probably between the white hats and the black hats. But the black hats are really fighting against this. They, are, they want to keep that control. They want to roll out their agendas. And there's a lot of confusion. You can see even in the community of the truthers there is so much confusion going on some say this of course about mr t and then something someone else comes up with other things it's it's confusion and that's pretty much where they thrive on where the black hats thrive on they want that confusion especially in the informed communities they want to make sure that there is a fear there uh, mix up people mixed uh, messages Hoping to create distrust, because if there's distrust among the, uh, the community of people that look beyond everything, that will work in the favor of the black hats, because then people will not unite. United, we are strong. So they try to avoid that. They try to mix up things. So even the articles you'll see in the alternative media, you'll have to watch out. Some articles are manufactured. Some articles are really just to uh, create distrust to create a um, um, fearful environment. So really feel what resonates with you because we are really starting to connect with our hearts and with our soul. We need to step away. This needs to be more in balance. We really need to feel first, does this feel right to me or not? And then have our brains and our intellect help with that. If it, then you can see and do things work out? What are the details about this article? What's going on? But, you know, there are a lot of people still really just functioning from their intellect, which is normal because really that's what they, the black has been pushing us all along. If you look at our uh, education system, everything is, you need to know your words, you need to know your, really everything is pretty much intellectual. And then in a very dumbed down version. So you're not supposed to think critically. That's not what you have your brain for. Really, you just get information and you really, when you get your tests, you just have to show if you've understood, if you know what that information is. That's pretty much our education system. No critical thinking, no different way of thinking, no other ideas, no, just plain and simple. So um, you really need to understand that. They keep us at a certain level. So a lot of people just look at it intellectually and they don't feel if something resonates with them or not. And it's really important that we start connecting with that. We need to balance it out. Our intellect is a beautiful tool to help us discern, to help us work out things and understand things. But it's not really the basis. The basis is energy and the connection to your soul and your energy is through your feelings and emotions, your intuition. So that's how I view things. And it's important to understand that. But in the, even though there's a lot of confusion, there will be more balance in the future. This is the Two of Pentacles. 
it may still seem like they're still what what are they going to do which way are they going to i have a feeling that that's it's about that audits are coming out are they going to show that information are they not going to show that information what's going on with that so that's a bit because it's very important for that to come out everywhere uh, worldwide not just in america so i still have a feeling there's going to be a little um ultimately it will be balanced but there's still going to be a way that we won't be certain what's coming out if it's true or not so there's a little balancing going on there so my feelings are that the black cats are really going to try to gain as much control as possible through the media so they will be probably amping up all the fear articles and things they just throw out just to scare people so be wise see what resonates with you or not and i also like to talk about resonance because that's really the way they manipulate us and um, a very good documentary that's still on this platform it's called uh, the century of self and it's uh, about advertising commercials and how they make sure that you buy a certain product they do that by using your emotions and your feelings against you in a way your resonance your energies that's what they're using against you and it's very interesting it's about a nephew of sigmund freud his name is edward bernays and he's the one that created this system as you can see with commercials or with products they really are working on your emotions if you buy this you're going to look great you're going to be amazing you're going to get the person that you want and you are worth it <laughs> so there's really are talking to your feelings also the lower instincts because a lot of um commercials especially cars and sort of things are usually connected to something of more uh, lust and more other things so they make sure to really speak to your emotions and um, a lot of people are not aware that that's how it works ultimately we make a lot of our choices unconsciously on an unconscious level most of our choices are made unconsciously you don't think about things you don't uh, think about when you get in your car anymore you don't think about which uh, cup you're going to use to drink your coffee you're not going to think about those things you kind of just do your routine and it's it's in a way built that way because otherwise if we have to think about everything we're not going to get anything done because then we'll be maybe wondering for two hours if we're going to drink from this cup or not or we're going to take another cup so in a way that process helps us live life but it's pretty much used against us as well that's why it's so important again to become your own authority because then you will feel if something resonates with you or not and then you can make choices consciously because a lot of people including myself we have a lot of baggage so to speak emotional baggage uh growing up personally i grew up in a family there was a lot of unsafety there was a lot of unclear so that's my patterns that's what i connect with at an unconscious level because as a child you don't understand that and you are dependent on your parents so you will start creating mechanisms mechanisms to work with that to uh, help yourself through in my case i already mentioned it i started eating binge eating disorder so and other people have other we all have different kind of mechanisms and uh, I also retreat. I would retreat. I would do everything myself because that was a lot safer and I couldn't really depend on anyone growing up. So it's very important to look at that because that's what you carry with you. So if I see a commercial about connecting people, and how, as I said, I grew up very lonely in a way, very by myself, that will speak to me. That's their way in. So I would look differently at a commercial. I would maybe remember that product, maybe remember buying that or like, oh, if I wasn't conscious of that, I'm now more conscious of how I feel and what's going on. I'm of course looking at my past. I'm looking at what I you know, experience right now in my life. So that's very important. Look at what you experience right now, see what doesn't work for you and try to figure out what's the pattern behind it because that's in your energy. We're manifesting 
all the time. So even though we don't think we've manifested this, we have. So we need to see what's going on. What are the triggers? What's, why did I bring this in my life with this person or this situation? And there's always lessons to learn. But if you don't look at the things and you don't understand the pattern, you will keep competing. How do you say? You will keep doing the same things. So you really need to change that. So the resonance is that they um, plug in on our fears, on our anxieties. They also have created, of course, this life we are now living in, which is really created to make us anxious, to make sure that we don't know how to handle our emotions. Most of us being brought up in a system, really, there were not much at school. I didn't get, uh, how do you say, that educated in how to deal with my emotions or my feelings that was just not the case creativity was not really that appreciated but the focus was on the intellect on the more cold side and like i mentioned before not on the critical thinking but more on doing what you were told so a lot of us need to clean up that because that's how they get in if you read an article if you read something and it scares you that means there's still fear in you if you're not afraid, that article is not going to do anything to you. You'll be just like, oh, okay, well, another black hat agenda, probably. You're not going to be hurt. You're not going to be faced by that. So it's very important to clear up your resonance. Also to, uh, like I said before, look at things, clean up things. That's what I mean by cleaning up your house. It's that resonance, it's that unconscious things we still carry with us and we can become conscious just by looking at our life, just by looking where we are. What areas of our lives are not working? What people do we gather around us? Are these very toxic people? Do we feel uh, unworthy? So we uh, let people take advantage of us? Uh, do we... Um, Fear being dominated, so we are the ones crossing boundaries with other people. That's also a possibility. What's going on in your life? And if you can really deal with that and clear that by feeling, by like I've mentioned before in other videos, just being with your emotions and seeing things maybe from your past or maybe things that are going on right now, and you transform it. People will, who are not connected with you anymore, don't fit your energy, will leave. And that's a good thing. Also with situations, if you're in a certain situation, if you clear that energy, that situation won't happen. So uh, I'd like just to finish up this um, video with, please look at your resonance. Don't get fearful in a way. If you feel fear, see where that fear comes from. Usually it's from past lifetimes or uh, this lifetime, usually when you, I believe in reincarnation. So if, uh, to me, my parents, I've picked them for a reason. So if you uh, experienced a certain youth, there was a reason or a lesson from your soul in there to connect or to heal or to really show you things. So it's very important to listen to that and really deal with that because that's the way to freedom. So then we can really use our energies for what we're supposed to be doing. And that is manifesting at a conscience level. So very consciously manifesting a world where I'm free to go wherever I want, where I'm free to be whoever I want to be, where I can connect with people, where there's love, there's an abundance. That's the world I want to create. And so that's what I'm working with in my energy so I can manifest that. So I hope to see you in another video. Bye.